much better. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I've worked a little bit on the garden storage already. And uh, let me show you what I did and why. So first off, I put plastic on this part and on this part. Uh, this plastic is gonna be s for uh, making this building more watertight and airtight so that it lives longer with us. I did these parts a little bit as an experiment to see how it would work and how I'm going to do it. Um, so now I've figured out a good method and I am now gonna do the rest of this building together with you guys. This plastic is on the outside and the planks that uh, are gonna be on the outside, it's gonna, it's gonna look kind of like the house. You see how the vertical planks are here? We're gonna do the same over here so the structures look like they belong together and I think that's a good thing. So the planks are gonna go on top of this plastic and this plastic is just gonna protect the building on the inside a little bit better. Let's see if I'm tall enough that I can show you guys. The plastic goes on top of the beam here and then uh, of course the roof is still gonna be on top of that. Uh, underneath the window the plastic is also a little bit folded over that way if ever water gets inside it runs to the outside and then I have some special tape that I bought flex sealing tape and I'll be using that to uh, tape all the edges shut uh, to make it even more watertight um, is this all really necessary for a garden storage building no it's just a garden storage but at the same time uh, if you do it it'll have your building survive for longer and less chance of rotting wood and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna redo this window because right now I've got done it with duct tape and I wanna redo it with the correct ceiling tape. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing two watches, um, the top watch, the black one is one I had already. It's a digital watch and the, the bigger one, the new one, is one I got from my mom because she bought a new one and she didn't want this old one anymore. And I'm just having them on at the same time to compare what they are like. They both got step counters, they still both got heart rate measurement. Um, so I'm just wearing them both at the same time for today to see if which one works better. And then I'll decide which one I want to keep. <laughs> All right, let's get to work, shall we? And I've just been doing some work and explaining it all to the camera and then I walk back to my camera and I see that the camera was off. <sighs> anyway, so <laughs> I put the tape on here. Um, as you can see, I've got one layer of tape here in front that curls over the plastic and then one layer of tape in the back that's on top of the front one. So this, that if moisture ever comes into the window, it can run out and doesn't go underneath the tape. So yeah, it's all directed in a way that it will run towards the outside. I hope that's gonna be good that way. All right, time to do the rest of the windowsill. And again, uh, this top part is gonna be on top of this one because moisture goes down and then it won't go behind the tape, but in front of it.
There we go. We got all the parts where plastic meets plastic sealed up. Um, so that is nice and water and air tight. Now we need to remove that window and get it out. Then we're going to take this roll and put it on the rest of the wall. But that is really difficult to do by yourself. So I'm going to ask my dad to come by so he can hold stuff while I staple it shut. Because holding a piece of plastic, especially this heavy plastic on a big roll, and stapling at the same time while standing on the ladder by yourself is difficult. So dad, come and help. Well, as you saw, my dad was here for a second and helped me hang up the tarp or the, the construction plastic. It is all hung up with clasps and uh, now I'm just going to start and staple it down and stretch it so it's nice and taut. Luckily when Frida moved in, she brought this thing with her. This is an amazing stapler. This thing is so good. I love it. I have no idea where she bought it, but it's great to have. Thank you, Frida. <laughs> it seems I don't learn from my mistakes. <laughs> See, I put this up there again, but the window is still there. And now <laughs> the screw is behind the plastic again. Ah! <laughs> Luckily, not that big of a deal, because I uh, haven't stapled the entire thing shut yet, so I can still work with it. Um, let's hope it, I don't tear too much off of it. But I need to learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so stupid. All right, let's fix this one as well. Well, <laughs> as you can see, I couldn't reach it from below, so I just made a little slit in the window, which is okay because we need to cut out the window anyway. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> fix my problem again. Back to stapling the wall. <laughs> All 
All right, it's all stapled up. It's all nice and tight. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It is already more of a wall than it was before. All right, next step. Well, a few hours later, there we go. As you can see, it's all sealed up and taped up. It is nicely, uh, nice and taut. The plastic is in good condition. Um, you can, nice and tight. <laughs> uh, I mean, it not, it's not supposed to be a drum. It doesn't need to be perfect because like I said, the planks that are on my house, we're gonna put similar planks on top of this. So we won't be seeing this plastic anymore. It's just here for now um, to have a moisture barrier in the building. I taped up all the window sills very nicely. So even if a window isn't 100% watertight, water will like drip down the side like this and then it's taped in such a way that it will drip outside. Um, that's why you do it in the layers the way I did. Um, you might see that over here we didn't have a seam between the plastic but I put some tape here anyway and that is to seal all the staple holes I made because of course you understand that when I because of course when you staple <laughs> a piece uh, of plastic you make holes in it and uh, so I even have some pieces of tape to have rows of staples um, shut down, sh sealed. <laughs> uh, I didn't do that everywhere, but I did it on the corner of the building, for instance, because the corner of the building is gonna get the most wind and rain. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I did today here. Let's take a look from the inside. It looks really nice now that we got all that shut. I put the plastic over the top and stapled it on the inside as well. Um, again, there's going to be roof over it, so there shouldn't be any moisture over there, but that is just an extra moisture barrier. Next step in this process is sealing in this wall as well. Gonna put some plastic over this wall just the way I did on the outside, um, because I should have done it on the outside of that wall, uh, but I kind of forgot and now there's 10 cubes of firewood in front of it. So I'm gonna have to seal it from the inside, which is fine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget, I'm not a professional builder. So if you see me doing something wrong, you're allowed to comment, but by the time I read your comment, it's probably gonna be too late. So I'm doing my best with all the knowledge I've gathered on YouTube and uh, I'm thinking it's gonna go pretty well. Anyway, see y'all later. Bye.
make some progress I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me Thanks for watching guys See you in the next vlog And don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Still recording I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the